Hey guys, how's it going? It's Awana Turtle, and we are doing another Pokemon trading card game opening. Uh, we're going ahead with more Flush of Storm. The last set of openings that we did with this set went really well, and so we're going to keep it, keep the train moving, uh, see if we can't continue to get some really good pulls. <clears throat> as long as it doesn't turn out like the Lost Thunder as we got very strong pulls and then we just kept pressing our luck and eventually we hit like a terrible box hopefully that doesn't happen uh last time one of the base charizards was able to bring us some good luck and so we have another one a slightly lower grade but we'll see if he can't can't deliver the uh 7.5 is say still resting all right so let's see here we got All right, so we're going to be opening 12 packs of Celestial Storm. And so far it's been working out where we try to, let's go with the tried and true Blaziken first. Followed by Jirachi, Stack Attacker. We still haven't pulled the Stack Attacker yet. And then finishing up with Rayquaza. Did pull a full art, uh, but yet to uh, you have to get a regular one, which is kind of ironic. Alright. First pack, we have Psychic Energy. Profile, Energy Switch. Lombre, Trico, Trico again. Wizmer, Voltor, Slugma, Latias. Pretty cool. This is the oddest oh, one that's kind of like a ramp up. Then a Manetta to wrap up. So, pretty good start. Prism Star. Although, Prism Star, I think it's because you, know, you can only use one in your deck that they're, uh, they're not that good. Or, for a card that you can only have a one of, I feel like they could be more powerful. And I think one thing that's interesting is that they've yet to combine. Uh, maybe this is something that will kick in at some point where you can. You can only use one out, but it's all like a GX. Um, so I feel like that would be very powerful. However, considering that the tag team mechanic is kicking in, maybe uh, Prism Star GX is not something that will happen anytime soon. We got Electric Energy, Hustle Belt, <coughs> Wolby, Combuskin, Wizmer, Voltorb, Slugma, Bagon, Baltoy, Larvitar Reverse, and then Deoxys. Looks like the speed one. So one thing I am curious about, the idea I've been playing around with, is I'm curious how people feel about Japanese openings. Um, I've talked about like Japanese promos quite a bit, but how about the idea of doing pack openings for sets that just came out in Japan, but have yet to hit English. So it's kind of be like a sneak peek um, for what's to come and as they do uh, maybe like a month or two ahead I feel like it's a lag time before it hits uh, before the English packs get released. Uh, so if, if that's something you'd be interested in let me know and that's something you can try to work out. So far for this opening pretty bad start. Well, uh, well beast ball pretty good. Uh, just getting into it, but so far nothing impressive. So far, bigger off reverse than a Swampert. You've yet to even get a holographic. We're almost halfway through. This Charizard might not be powerful enough to get us the, the pulls that we're looking for. Alright, got a Leaf Grass Energy. How? Kind of like how. Last Chance Potion, Mudkip, Bag On, Wismer, Trico, Trico again, Rainbow Energy Reverse, that's actually pretty cool. And then uh, Ludicolo. Ludicolo is kind of weird. He starts off like a, um, a Kappa thing from Japan. Not like Kappa, but Reddit Kappa or Twitch Kappa. But then it turns into this pineapple thing.
All right, very envy. Mawile. Oh, the interesting one. All right, Torchic, Meditai, Chincho, Vulpin, Spoink, Cacturn, Reverse, and then a Delcaddy. The uh, stuff for the that's I, don't know, I always thought like it was like the next meow. I feel like they were always underwhelming. Never amounted to much. All right. Very slow still. Let's see if we can't pick it up. Mine on copycat. Hunt tail. Wingle. Spoink. Chincho. Onyx. Bagon. Reverse swallow. And ooh! Rainbow Rare Blaziken. Alright. Ah, Blaziken is <laughs> like any any hyper rare is a great to see. <laughs> uh I feel like I feel kind of bad. Previous openings, I've been talking some smack about Blaziken. Uh, as far as the pack cover art, I always go for that one first because I, I feel like it's not something I'm exactly looking for. <laughs> and, and then recently I pulled the full art and now the hyper rare. Uh, either either my mind is slowly changing or... Actually, let's just go with that one. Alright. <laughs> Blaziken's not so bad. Alright, we got our first first GX. And it is a rainbow slash hyper rare. It is Blaziken. Very nice. Swampert, Sableye, Kecleon, Larvitar, Slickaw, Love Disc, Electrike, Cacnea, you got a Reverse Lithia, and then a Bayonet. That thing is creepy. Putting on chapstick, on chapstick. All right. We have some recycled art. Um, what was it? Ah, Sneasel. All right, Mudkip, Beldum, Walmer, Spinarak. Clamp Pearl and then a Cartana. I think I'm not I'm not crazy about when they reuse the art. You know, for I would, I would say a majority of people that that buy these cards, in my opinion, a majority are not for competitive play. So we are buying it for the collective purposes, which a lot of it has to do with the art. And I feel like for a franchise that many are I'm actually not familiar with this one. Uh, for a franchise that has like it's so popular for them to reuse the art. Feels very lazy to me. Metagross. And then a Muck Cargo. Not bad pulls, but we're looking for looking for those GXs. We're looking for those full art trainers. We're looking for those secret art, secret rare items. Alright. Last pack. Switch. Rovile. Lantern. Beldum. Lotad. E dot. Giddy, Alolan Rattata, Wingle, and then for our last pack, we have another Whale Lord. Whale Lord, 228 HP, but I don't understand this thing. Like, pack does 40 less damage for each damage counter on this Pokemon. So, like, while you have a lot, it can soak up a lot of damage. It doesn't actually do anything after you have 500 damage. Very confusing. So. A solid start to the opening. Uh, for as far as uh, okay pulls, we just have a Latias, but this is probably the better one, uh, just for one colorless. You know, you can uh, ramp up your other guys. And then for our only other hit, we have a Rainbow Rare Blaziken. So very nice. Uh, happy with that start and. If you did enjoy this opening, uh, please uh, subscribe to the channel, like the video if you did enjoy it, and we're going to continue this uh, once we get the team up cards, we're going to obviously be doing that as well. i uh, got some tins and some cool Kanto buddy tins coming in, and looking forward to all those different kinds of openings. On that, uh, thanks for watching guys, and I'll catch you guys next time. Later.